So, let's tie it up, okay. Let's hope the audio stays still. Anyway, Maker's Corner here again. Playing around with this um, Ethernet module. Um, and having quite good success, except for a few issues, or one main issue. Well, I have to bring up here. Um, so if we look at here, then we can see that we have the Ethernet module there connected up to the Arduino Uno from last time. And I've been using this um, uh, EtherCard uh, library. Seems to be a very good library. It actually has all the basic stuff need to run the um, run the module, even the connection stuff. Um, so when I decided to read through this and I, yeah, uh, the example that I tested was using a static IP address, so I switched to the DHCP based address, and then I tried to um, set up this here. Um, send the UDP package and then I ran into um, sadly a bit of problems let's see now I take this one here I think yep. and um, now I've uploaded the sketch that I created so it's actually working and then here we can see that it's uh, it's <laughs> now that I have the sketch um, only with the um, or I can actually go through what I've added here. So it, it um, basically the only logic for the Ethernet module that's now added is that it initializes the Ethernet module uh, using the chip select ten, and then I've can change to using um, DHCP setup. I if one um, uses static setup, it uses less memory. Static IP setup uses less memory, but I would like to be able to use THCP. And then um, what I did is I tried to set up a, a U, the UDP um, communication. So basically, you define here a block to set up the destination um, IP address and or the, and the ports. And then you can add in the same location where I'm exporting all the um, uh, the test values. Then I was uh, testing usually using the send UDP command. But I mean, if I activate any of the uncommented lines, then I just it runs so far out of memory that the um, actual um, experiment taking logic no longer works. So I, I think. And I've tried to like optimize the code a bit to, for reduced memory usage, but I think it's getting a bit... I mean, the balance between how much time one should spend on on um, memory optimization in this specific case. I think, I don't know if it's... Um, but I'm happy to say that this... Um, it does work very well, so the uh, connection or connecting it up wasn't that much of a big deal. The chip select logic works perfectly. This library seems to work okay. The DHCP it picks up an address fine. Um, I wonder if I could show. See if I can still see it. Yeah, here. Oops. Now it's scrolling up the. See so, you now it's it has the DHCP assigned address, and then I'm actually running the experiment here. So, uh, and um. I had to remove the last delay weight that I had in the loop structure. So here's the setup and then the loop. And here I had a delay so that it would wait in between picking. There, would, there was a delay command to wait to go and pick up the next, um, uh, to export the next set of test results. But now I don't do that. I actually let it run in the loop and then it's every time it. Uh, loops the loop that it's um, doing this packet loop, packet receive. Um, so basically, it's um, e echoing. Uh, so what happens is you can use ping. Sorry, it's my mobile phone. Oh, should turn that off. Um, 
yeah, so the, the, the ping works fine, and, and you can see when it's actually also working on exporting the um, test result, then um, you see a bigger delay in the ping. I think I've seen it timing out once. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it works okay. Um, so I would have expected the UDP to work also if I hadn't run into this um, memory allocation limit. I mean, the Arduino Uno does not have much memory. <laughs> it's it's very small. So I think that because um, uh, I I really would like to keep the functionality of the sketch when it comes to the to the actual experiment logic. Um, so. Um, it would be kind of fun to send the test results over the Ethernet module network. So I'm actually seriously... Because this is more like a uh, communication experiment box sort of setup, so that I was thinking I could actually move over to um, the Arduino Mega. Because the Arduino Mega has uh, it's got a faster ALR processor and it has more memory, so it it will have no problem in running the um, the um, script with the Ethernet module and everything included. But then I have to resolder a bit of stuff, so I have to on the um, prototype board for the um, Arduino Mega. I wonder if I have it here. actually have to just redo the connections onto this. So this is the Arduino Mega I showed in the previous video. And it's got the prototyping board already um, put on the top. So I can just um, yeah, put in the um, in the few resistors needed to run the temperature measurement logic and yeah, reconnect everything. So we'll see. I will think about this for. I, I don't think that's really realistic to get this to run you know, with the memory limitations it has. Not if I be. Yeah, because I kind of like this now. Actually, it would be cool because now it's, it um, runs the experiments fine. You know, it can do automatic sequence of, of a test to run and a cool down sequence or a heat up um, test and a cool down sequence and it stores measurement values on the SD card file and um, sends the uh, results through the USB connection to the computer and why not have it going through the network also? <laughs> well, uh, three different uh, gathering the test results in three different ways. Well, I think it uh, might be kind of cool. So anyway, so I might spend some time um, and I'm going to get a few more Arduino Mega cards. So. But I suppose it has to conclude at the time of the I like Arduino Uno's, they're also good, but I think that it's, um, it was kind of expected one would run out of, now, you know, get into memory allocation problems. Yeah. Okay, but that's a quick update for now, I don't think the, I've, um, I mean, basically the module is working, it's electronically, it's connected, the uh, software module is loaded, it does its basic stuff, and, and I am quite 100% confident that the UDB communication will work if it didn't have running out of, because it's probably running out of memory. When I activate those lines of code, then it um, it has no working memory left, and then it keep, starts writing on top of it. Uh, you know, the code starts writing on top of itself, and um, then it just um, it gets all messed up, so probably nothing works anymore. In, in any kind of a logical way. I mean, what happens if I activate those lines of code and it says that um, the SD card cannot be open and that's an indication. Then the SD card module software doesn't have enough memory to allocate itself. I mean, it's not like, the, yeah, these ALR systems, they don't have a very advanced memory allocation system. So you can't really report low memory issues in a very systematic way. Yeah. 
Okay, but um, we'll see. I will see what I'll do with that. Then maybe come back with a video where um, I move to using the mega. Of course, if I move to using the mega, then I have a little bit more options also, but, um, a little bit more functionality in, in this module. Oh. <coughs> okay. Um, later then.